Hi, I'm Liz, and I am here today with you to find out if this new Blue Eddy AC60 uh, battery and inverter box for camping um, will power a microwave. So what I've got here is the lowest wattage microwave I could find on Amazon. It's a commercial chef, 0.6 cubic foot, uh, I think 650 watt microwave, and we're gonna see if it'll power it. Okay, now I just got this yesterday and I've charged it up completely. So it's at 100%, it charged really fast. Um, I just need to get the settings for this power lift feature. So I've got a mug of water here and I'm gonna open this up, slide it in. Now these are nice, simple rotary dials. It's set on high and I'm gonna turn this on and let's see if it works. Oh my God, it's on, it's spinning. Oh, output 1,080 watts. That's pretty good. That's about what it's supposed to draw. Uh, but it shut itself off. And it says, I think overload. All right, that did not work. Let's see if we can figure out what went wrong. Why is it making that noise? It's only drawing 560 watts though. This is what the screen is reading. Well, it did not get to the end. Let's see how the water did. Mm, the, the mug is hot. It's, it's warm-ish. It's not really warm, but it's warmer than tap temperature. So what is going wrong? This says it's overloaded again. All right, so this is like take 10 and of uh, trying to get this set up so that it might work. I've got a fresh cup of water uh, right out of the tap, tap cold. Okay, that was 30 seconds. Let's see how it is. It is still cold. All right, I gave it an extra minute. Maybe it's just slow. Ooh, the handle is hotter. That's promising. Let's see, finger test. Lukewarm. Okay, <laughs> take 44 or whatever it is. I've got the microwave plugged into the house like you would normally use it at home. So let's see what it can do here. So I've got, I measured out one cup of water into this mug. We're gonna see what it does in 30 seconds. Oh, that sounds more like a microwave. It's got like that nice, just hum. It's missing the growl that it had when it was plugged into the box here. All right, 30 seconds. Let's take it out. And let's be all sciencey about this, since we're being sciencey. All right, let's see. 96 degrees after 30 seconds, plugged into the house. All right, so I'm back with a cup of water in here, freshly refilled from the tap. The mug is not hot at all or warm, so I think we're good there. I'm gonna pop this in here. And we're gonna plug this back in to our Blue Eddy. Let's see how we're doing here. We've still got power lifting on. We're at 88% battery. I've already run down 12% here just running these experiments. <sighs> Turning the AC on. It makes a very different sound. All right, so that's 30 seconds. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm not optimistic. Okay, it's measuring 83 degrees. 
So versus like 96. So definitely not running at full strength here. Just for good measure, let's also find out the temperature of the tap water. Tap water is 71 degrees. So we've got 71, what did I say, 81? And 96. So it's, it's doing something, but I don't think it's doing enough. Okay, so I want to give you an update on this experiment. So the answer is no, the Bluetti AC60 will not run a microwave. Oh, I am so disappointed. I was really hoping it would. And I thought I had read all the details and understood it well enough, but apparently I do not understand all this electricity stuff enough. What they told me is that a microwave, even a low powered microwave such as this, what did they say here? The microwave needs a strict voltage requirement. So I guess a microwave is more particular about its power source and having consistent electricity coming through it. Yeah, I don't know. They say that this will power a coffee maker. It will power a hair dryer. I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. Um, and it um, will do like heaters and blowers of things that are over 600 watts. It will not, however, work for my purposes. So it is going to go back to Blue Eddy. And I'm going to try again um, with their next new product that's coming out, the AC180, um, which is supposed to be released, they say, at the end of June. Um, that one's at 1800 watt, which should have no issue with the microwave. And customer service has said it should be fine. So um, let's cross our fingers and hope that that's the case. So I want to wish you a great day. And I'm going to be posting in a couple weeks when the AC180 shows up and see if that can really power this microwave, which I really want to take uh, camping. Catch you down the road.